Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a birdhouse on a milk carton. And here are views from the side. So let's get started. And here's where I hung my jute and burlap birdhouse. I'm working with a chunky yarn and a 9mm crochet hook. You can work with any size yarn and any size hook that you like. And I'm going to start with a slip knot. And I'm going to work a chain that is long enough to wrap around whatever container I'm going to use as my birdhouse foundation. And I'm using a milk container and I've worked my foundation chain so that it wraps all the way around to prepare my milk carton to be a birdhouse. First I traced around a lid just from a bottle. I want this to be an inch and a quarter because that's the size that a chickadee likes. And those are the birds that seem to use most of my bird houses. So now I'm just going to circle that around like that and I'm going to cut it out like that. And I'm going to cut some ventilation holes all the way around. And in the bottom with my scissors I'm going to punch some holes in case water gets in the birdhouse so the little birds don't drown. Okay, so I punched four holes. Okay, so I have my opening for the bird and I have ventilation here, ventilation here, here, and here. And now I'm going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Chain one, single crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch single crochet, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through both loops to make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert it into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn and pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn and pull it through the remaining two loops. And I'm going to work all the way around making a single crochet and then a double crochet. all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I ended with a double crochet. I started with a single crochet. I'm going to slip stitch to join in that first single crochet. So I'm working the pebble stitch and that means I ended with a single crochet so I should start with a double and the equivalent of a double is going to be chain two. One, two. Turn the work. Now that's a double crochet so I'm going to make a single crochet in that double crochet. And that's a single crochet, so I'm going to make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, and then bring through two, and bring through two. The next one is a double, so I'm going to work a single. You could use any stitch pattern that you like. You could just do single crochets or double crochets. But I'm going to use this pebble stitch. It's one of my favorite stitches. So I'm going to keep working all the way around making a single and a double. So work all the way around. Slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. So I ended in a double crochet, so I'm going to chain one and turn. And that's a single crochet, so I'm going to make a double crochet in that stitch and a single crochet in the next. I'm going to continue all the way around. Okay, I've worked a section and I'm going to slide it onto my milk carton. And I've reached a spot where I'm going to leave a hole now for the opening. So I ended with a single crochet. I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to alternate. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, but I'm not going to work into that last stitch. I'm going to leave that stitch open and I'm not going to slip stitch to join. So we ended with a double crochet, chain one and turn. That chain one will take the place of a single crochet. So now I will double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next and work it all the way around.
Okay, I worked all the way around. And again, I'm not going to slip stitch to join. So I'll do one more row and then I will slip stitch to join. So you can see I'm leaving this open. Okay, I worked all the way around. And now at the end of the row, I'm going to chain one to make up for that unworked stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch to join. So now I have my hole for the birdhouse. So now I'm just going to continue to work more and more rows until the work is as long as the container that I'm working on. Okay, I've worked as much as I need to come down to the bottom of the birdhouse. And now I'm going to start decreasing for the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to skip the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch. Single crochet. Repeat all the way around. Skip. Single crochet. All the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. Now I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay. Okay, I worked all the way around making double crochets and I slip stitch to join. And I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. Skip single crochet skip single crochet skip single crochet and now I'm going to fasten off thread the yarn end into a needle and then just close that bottom hole like that and there's how it looks, all covered. And don't worry if this isn't exact, we're going to fix that when we're all finished. To make the roof, I'm going to start with a foundation chain that's as wide as the roof. Now I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And in the next stitch, I'm going to make a triple crochet, yarn around the hook two times, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn and pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, Pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Single crochet in the next stitch. Triple crochet in the next. Single crochet in the next. And work that way across the row, making one triple crochet. And one single crochet. And you can always pop those to the front. And single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. All the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row. At the end of the row, chain one and turn single crochet in the first stitch, triple crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, triple crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat across the row. So repeat all the way across the row and then the next row will be a row of single crochet again. Okay, I've worked a roof section until it's long enough to wrap up over the peak of the birdhouse. Like that. So now here on the side, I'm going to come through one of the stitches and then come over on the other side. And then I can take these two and tie it. And that will pull it up to cover the sides. And I'm going to take the roof and I'm going to sew it across here. So I'll start on this side and I'm just going to sew it across and now wrap it around over to the front and I'm going to sew it across right here like that 
and weave the yarn end into the finished work. To make a hanger, I'm going to use a sharp steak knife and I'm going to puncture a hole right through the milk carton. So you see it's in this top part and insert a wire through there and then just come over a little ways more, make another hole about an inch away, pass the wire through and then I can twist it over. Start with a foundation chain that is long enough to wrap around that hole and slip stitch to join. Chain two and then you'll work as many double crochet as you need for to be able to have a circle that will lie flat. So just make as many double crochet as you need in the circle. Okay, I worked as many double crochet as I needed so that this would lay flat. Slip stitch to join and that will be fitting there. So I'm going to fasten off. Now you could just leave it white like that. I'm going to attach another color and I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat all the way around. Chain three, single crochet. Chain three, single crochet. All the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around making chain three and single crochet in the next stitch. The end of the row I just slip stitch to join in the first chain three. So now you can either sew this around or you could hot glue it or you could even use Elmer's glue. And bring this to the underneath, tie into a square knot like that. To make this flower, start with a slip knot, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch to join and form a ring, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the ring. Repeat that to make six of these in the ring. So one, two, three, four, five single crochet in the ring. So you just repeat that until you make one, two, three, four, five, six, or you could make more if you like. And then I sewed a button in the center and the green is exactly the same as the red part. So I layered the red flower over the green and then I just took three strands of green yarn and I shaped them into a bow. And now right Along the inside there you can put some hot glue or you could even use Elmer's glue but before you do that take a needle and I'll show you on here poke holes all the way around like that because then that will give the glue a place to get a grip so you can see it pops out a little bit and the same thing will happen if you're using Elmer's glue you put, if you put the Elmer's glue along there the fabric will stick to the outside of it and then on the inside you can see that the glue will come out and then it'll form a little a little grip there so that it can hold on. Okay so I have my red flower and the green exactly the same as the red and then I just passed my yarn through one of the loops on the green so I can hot glue that or if you wanted to you could also sew it so you just hot glue that underneath like that and I already have a video posted on how to make puff flowers and I'm going to put the link below for the puff flower video and I'm going to hot glue these like that and I'll do one here in the front like that and you can add as many puff flowers as you like I added another one here on the roof so I have this flower I have a puff flower here a puff flower there, one here on the side, and another one on this side. And there you go. That's how you can crochet a little birdhouse. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.